In this video, let's see another numerical problem based on the substitution method. We already know that in case of composition of functions, we have basically namely two methods to solve the differentiation. The first is substitution, the second is chain rule. Substitution method is the heading. We have seen what is substitution method and the numerical problem. This is the second numerical problem which says differentiate with respect to x for y is equal to log tan pi by 4 plus x by 2. The problem was asked in the CBSE previous year examination. The year in which it was asked was 2002. Now, y is the given function and you see this is not tan cos x, something not very easy. Rather, it has many nested functions. The first, which you can see whole soul complete is pi by 4 plus x by 2. Let's name pi by 4 plus x by 2 suppose as u. Then you see your question changes to y is equal to log tan u. But now even tan u seems more complete. So let's name tan u as something else say v. So now the question is y is equal to log v. So this time we do not have only one substitution as the previous video had rather two substitutions. So even this can happen. Let's write the heading as solution and go about starting it. My question is let I start the solution as u is equal to pi by 4 plus x by 2. I started with the substitution of the whole soul complete bracket. So my question changed to y is equal to log tan u. My question became this. But then I saw that even this can be changed. Why and how? I saw that this also can be changed. And this is what if I make tan u as a whole soul complete again. I say it is v. Then what happens? Then it becomes if v is equal to tan u, then my question is y is equal to log v this time. So there are some substitutions this is say equation number 2, let me name it. This is 1, this is 3, this is 4 because we may be needing them again and again. So let's name them, right? So now we have the final as this. And the motto is what? The motto remains the same to find differentiation with respect to x. That means to find dy by dx. But this time, not only one substitution, rather two substitutions are there. So it becomes dy by something, multiply by something, multiply by something, we are not sure of it. The last would be dx and things will cancel. Now from here we can do what? From this step, from the first step, we can do something called as differentiate with respect to x. That statement you will be writing, I am not writing it. Differentiate with respect to x, so it becomes what? dy by du. Or in case it becomes du by dx because it is u and x into consideration. So it becomes du by dx. Let's make it more clear. It becomes du by dx. Now du by dx means what? Pi by 4 is the constant when seen in uh, respect to x. x by 2 means differentiate with respect to x. So it becomes 1 by 2. That is one answer. Next is what y and u into picture from here, but that is solved. Next comes the interplay of after this box comes the interplay of this box, right? So it is y and v and this box says v and u. So both have to be treated. Here I write differentiate with respect to u. I again repeat in equation number 3 let's write differentiate with respect to u. So it becomes dv by du, dv by du. Now it is differentiate with respect to u. What is the differentiation of tan theta? It is secant square theta, so it becomes secant square u. That is one answer. Last but not the least, from equation number 4, let's write differentiate with respect to v because y and v are here. So let's write differentiate with respect to v, so it becomes dy by dv. And log v is nothing but 1 upon v. So these are some answers that we have got. And now see here, the motto is to find dy by dx. So it becomes dy by dv multiplied by dv by du. 
multiply by du by dx. What will happen if we follow this box? If we follow this box, we will get the final answer which is dy by dx. The other thing what will happen is dv dv gets cancelled. So dv and dv will get cancelled. du and du will also get cancelled, right? So basically we will get our final answer. So that says you need to multiply these three things. So dy by dv, dy by dv is 1 by v. dv by du, dv by du is secant square u du by dx is 1 by 2. Now the answer should be in x because it is dy by dx. Let's substitute the things 1 by v moving from here to here 1 by v. What is v? v is what? Let's find it. It is tan u from 3. So from 3 v is tan u. Rest remains the same secant square u 1 by 2 sequence square u 1 by 2. Now what is u? What is u? u is pi by 4 plus x by 2 but first let's solve it clearly. So it becomes cos u upon sin u because tan theta can be split into sin theta upon cos theta. 1 upon cos square u multiplied by 1 by 2. Cut, cancel if something does. So it becomes 1 upon 2 sin theta cos theta, 2 sin theta cos theta is sin 2 theta, so sin 2u, right? Now what is u? u from the equation 1, so I write from 1, I say that from 1 it becomes pi by 4 plus x by 2, so 1 by sin 2 multiplied by pi by 4 plus x by 2. Now what is the answer to this? You see that 2 is multiplied with pi by 4, it becomes pi by 2 and 2 and 2 gets cancelled. So it is 1 upon sin pi by 2 plus x. Now what is sin 90 plus theta? It is cos theta. So it is 1 upon cos x which gives me secant x. So my answer is secant x. You see we did this question by substitution, we had substitutions multiple but we didn't worry about it, we didn't bother, we just saw that what has to be done step by step. We named it by equations that made our problem easier. This question again can be done with the help of chain rule too but since we hadn't learned it till now, we did it by substitution method.